Have you ever thought about time travel? Is it possible to go to the past, to the future, and come back again to the present, like in the famous movie Back to the Future? In principle, this could be possible only if past, present, and future, or at least past and present, existed simultaneously. In other words, time travel would be completely impossible, even in principle, if past and future didn't exist concurrently with the present. Then, do past, present, future exist simultaneously? Let's see what science has to say about that. There are three possible options about existence of past, present, and future, which are reasonable. The first option is called as presentism, where only present exists. Past and future don't exist simultaneously with present. If this is the case of reality, then what we call as time is the changing of the universe from the past through present into the future conditions. We are also a part of this change. Let's explain this with an analogy. Assume that you just opened the camera of your phone. You are not recording what you see, so you can only see things happening at the present time through that screen. What you see on the screen is like the universe according to presentism. There is only the present. No events of the past are stored and no events of future are available. We are like the person looking at the screen in this universe. The difference is that we are experiencing the change in the universe from within the universe, not outside of it, through a screen or a window. We affect and get affected by the events in this universe. There is no past and future in this case. Don't worry if this analogy seems confusing. It will be clear in a moment. The second option for existence of past, present and future is known as growing block universe, where past and present exist simultaneously, but not the future. This universe is growing into the future in time. Let's try to understand this universe with the camera analogy. The difference here is that the camera is recording a video. So, everything that shows up once on the screen is being recorded and stored. However, during the recording, the screen only shows the present. Previous events are not shown anymore. Similar to presentism, we are experiencing only the part shown on the screen during the recording, which is the present. If we had access to the video file that's recorded, then we could see that all the past events that once appeared on the screen exist. The problem is that we don't currently have access to that recorded file and can only experience the present time that is appearing on the screen. If we are living in a growing block universe, then the past exists, but we only experience the present, with no access to the past. The passing of time in this case is the passing of events from the past through present into the future. The third option is the static block universe, where past, present and future exist simultaneously in a four-dimensional space-time, which is also known as eternalism. This is what Einstein thought about the universe. The difference here from growing block universe is that the future also exists simultaneously with past and present, and they are all predetermined. Listen to this part very carefully, because things will get really confusing. According to eternalism, the past exists, and it is fixed. There is nothing complicated about it. What makes it perplexing is that present and future are also fixed. Let's see what it means through an example. Assume that you are inside a room. You are free to decide to stay inside the room or go out of the room and wait outside for the next 30 minutes. You can make one of two different decisions in the present time which will determine where you will be in the future, 30 minutes from now. It feels that you have free will to change both the present and the future. This seems to be in contradiction to eternalism, which states that, in addition to the past, present and future are also fixed and predetermined. Then, do we really have free will to make any decision we want? 
Were our past decisions made by our own free will, or were they predetermined? This is a baffling question, isn't it? But don't worry, we have a powerful tool that will make things crystal clear. That is, of course, the camera analogy. In the camera analogy, the case of eternalism is like playing a pre-recorded video, like the one you are watching right now. This video was recorded in the past according to you and is being recorded in the present time according to me. According to you, everything that I say until the end of this video are already said and fixed. In other words, I have a fixed and unchanging future according to you. However, according to me, I do have free will and I'm making my own choices of words. For me, my future doesn't exist yet but it already exists according to you. In addition, although you know that my future is fixed as it is recorded in this video, you also know that everything that I will say in this video were my own free choices. For example, if I want to pick a random integer number from 1 to 10, I will do so with my own free will. According to you, I have already picked a number, but according to me, I am free to choose any number. So, let me pick 12.5. Mm, what did you say? It is not between 1 and 10? It is also not an integer? Well, I know that 12.5 is not an integer between 1 and 10. I specifically picked a wrong number to make you think I accidentally picked a wrong number. So, was I successful? If so, then this is another example how I made a decision in my present that affected the future in a way I expected. Anyways, the contradiction between our free will and eternalism can be resolved as follows. According to us, experiencing the present, our present and future depend on our free choices. However, according to an observer who is not bound to our time, past, present and future exist simultaneously, which are fixed and predetermined. However, according to an observer who is not bound to our time, past, present and future exist simultaneously, which are fixed and predetermined. To sum up, any of the three options, namely presentism, growing block universe or eternalism, is possible to be the reality. There is no consensus among scientists and philosophers on this subject. There are other interpretations of reality as well, but they are more or less similar to one of the above options. Eternalism is more widely accepted among scientists and philosophers. Then comes the growing block universe followed by presentism. Time travel would be impossible according to presentism. In a growing block universe, time travel to the past could be possible but not to the future. Time travel to both past and future, like in the movie Back to the Future, could only be possible according to eternalism. In my personal view, the reality seems to be a combination of the three. According to us, past and future don't exist, or at least we don't have access to them. Only the present exists. The past existed since we have memories of it, However, we don't have any memory of future, so, according to us, future hasn't come yet. According to an observer in our time frame, who also has access to the past, the universe is a growing block universe. According to an observer who has access to all times, past, present and future exist simultaneously, which are already happened and fixed. This could be an observer not bound to and outside of our time. In all the three cases, we have our free will and make our own free choices according to our own reasons in the present time, even for an observer outside of time. But is an observer outside of time possible? If yes, then how would such an observer see the laws of physics? Well, that sounds interesting for another video. Please subscribe to our channel to support our work and help us bring more interesting videos. Like and share this video if you found it interesting. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye for now.